Sarah Logan's ready to fight. The following contest is a table, ladders, and chairs match. Making her way to the ring from Louisville, Kentucky, Sarah Brought up on her Logan. daddy's tater farm in Kentucky. She used to hunt for a living and then cook the food for her family. That is what Logan is all about. She also lives the Viking lifestyle. She's a direct descendant of Eric the Red. She's been blessed by the gods to be favored in battle. Here comes the self-proclaimed juvenile delinquent. And her opponents. First, from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. the firecracker of the riot squad one of the only good things to ever come out of the state of new jersey jersey tough there's no doubt about that successful career coming in wwe ready for some mayhem ready for some havoc uh i'm not quite sure actually Ruby Riot's made it her personal mission to make life miserable for everyone born entitled. Everyone handed anything. Ruby carved her own path in the world, and she's right where she belongs on WWE television. It's all about DIY for Ruby Riot. Do it yourself. Take what you can. Give nothing back. And here we go, looking in the ring, only one word comes to mind to describe what we can expect from this triple threat match. Classic. Guys, I'm interested to see if any alliances get formed here tonight, oh, or if it truly will be one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. So damaging. Listen up, morons, especially you, Byron. A tables, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as a TLC match originated thanks to three of the greatest tag teams of all time. I'm talking about the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys, and Edge and Christian. You've got the tables for the Dudleys, the ladders for the Hardys, and the chairs for E and C. Well, she wants this win bad, flawlessly executed by her right there. One move after the other. It's devastating. Corey, we've seen unbelievable championship matches and triple threat contests over the years. You're absolutely right. The fact that a champion does not have to submit or be pinned or be factored in the decision at all to lose their championship is something that can influence their approach to the match. As some would say in a triple threat, you don't have to beat the champ to become the champ. That's a risk that a champion runs when being put in this type of match. We've heard from many superstars who say that fact does affect their training and overall preparation for a triple threat match. It would have to. Wow, so painful. Oh my, what impact. Bang, right to the face. Oh, be careful up there. Big forearm. Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. And a wicked elbow shot right there. Almost knocked silly by that strike. She's absorbing some offense here. Got to be careful this doesn't turn into a two-on-one assault. Her opponent clearly has a game plan here, and that's to incapacitate her to the point where she simply cannot climb the ladder. She's definitely slowing down here a bit, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me! 
Got all of that one. Oh, wow. She has some reason to be concerned here. Ouch. She might want to think about taking a breather and letting the other two women go at it for a while. Not surprising, Cole. When you're in the ring with two of the best women on the roster, you're going to... Yes! Unreal performance. Well done. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Here is your winner, Sarah Logan. Looking dominant at times in the victory. She really is a special superstar. And